Peak Design 20 liter everyday backpack in black on black. I've wanted this bag forever and I finally bought it and I have a lot of thoughts on it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over this bag top to bottom with you guys. And then I'm going to tell you what I like and dislike about this bag. I got a lot to say about this one, so buckle up for a long one. So the first thing I noticed about this bag when I first got it was how beautiful it is. It's just a really good looking bag, in my opinion. It doesn't have that climber, hiking, uh, I'm going camping and I need to carry tents and wolf pelts and every other thing. It's got a real sleek and minimal design to it, and I really like that about this bag. The next thing you'll notice is there's not a whole hell of a lot going on on the outside of this bag. There's not a lot of straps or anything. There's a couple zippers and some handles. The straps actually magnetize to the back of the bag to keep it nice and tidy looking. There's not a lot of like bells and whistles on the outside of it, so to speak. So the next thing you might notice is this little mag latch guy up front. So you pull out, it's down, and it releases. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're gonna take a look at the Dragon Egg MK2. Now it's hard to fix perfect, and in my opinion, the Direct Action Dragon Egg is a perfect pack. This has a few minor changes. I got it in a different color, so I'm gonna go over it for you today. If you wanna check and see my other video on the Dragon Egg, including a loadout, I'll put a link to that in the description. So my original pack is in the Woodland color, and I've used this pack for anything from a computer bag, to a photography bag, to a bug out bag, to a get home bag. It's so versatile in its size. It's a 25 liter pack and just has high quality all throughout, making it one of my all time favorite bags. The MK2 is very similar. I have this one in black. The only thing that they've updated on this, again, it's hard to change something that's already perfect, is they've updated their logo to reflect their new logo. So the only other thing that they've changed is on the side, on the bottle holders, all they've done is gone from a zip system that allows you to tighten or loosen the uh, system to now it's elastic. So you, when you pop something in there, you have an elastic band that expands out or goes in instead of the zipper. Other than that, the bags are exactly the same. You have 500D True Cordura brand nylon. You have the laser cut Molly on the front. I really like these zipper pulls with the little rubber tubing on them. They hold up. You can see that my originals, lots and lots of use have held up just fine. This whole pack has held up just fine with lots and lots of use. I've constantly clipped things to the outside. Super high quality YKK zips. It's also got a DWR coating on it. So anytime it got wet, the water basically just runs right off it, which is nice. But you've got uh, two 2.5 meter lengths of paracord on the paracord handle here, which is very... And as always, click that red subscribe button for more videos. Today, let's check out the Matane Travel Laptop Backpack. Currently, it's the number one best-selling backpack. I've used it for 11 months now, so in this review, I'll also give my own experience from using it. But for now, let's get right into the review. Personally, I own the 15-inch version of this backpack, but it also comes in a 17-inch version, which is slightly larger, and the laptop compartment opens all the way around, not only halfway, like here. The Matane backpack is offered in blue, brown, charcoal black, gray, gray and black camo, and red colors. I chose the gray option because in my opinion it looked the most minimalistic. And you know, I'm a pretty minimalistic guy. Because the fabric is so light, I thought that all the dirty spots would be clearly visible. But actually it's not that bad. They kind of blend in because they've used these dark gray and light gray threads in the fabric. This backpack measures at 18 inches in height, 13 inches in width and up to 9 inches in depth when packed full. If you don't overpack it, you'll be able to use it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. The 511 Rush 72 Multicam is one of 511's most popular packs and is an end user favorite worldwide. Made from a reinforced heavy duty nylon, the Rush 72 pack is great for everything from military to everyday use. The grab-and-go carry handle has been reinforced for rugged use. The fleece-lined sunglass and phone pocket is located on the top of the pack to protect it from your other gear. We've increased padding in the straps, allowing you to carry a heavier load for longer distances. The width of the straps has been increased. The sternum straps are adjustable. The buckle hardware is located behind the pad to provide greater comfort.
The four zones of padding provide maximum ventilation, and the tacky rubber at the base helps keep your pack in place. Drain holes can be found around the bottom of the pack, as well as lashing straps for a bedroll, tent, or sleeping bag. The Rush 72 comes with waist straps covered in web platforms for ultimate customization. The waist straps can also be tucked away for a more low pro. This is the 511 Rush 72 Multicam. Hi guys, for this particular video, I have this beautiful EDC backpack from AD Context. Okay, so as I said before, this is the EDC backpack from AD Context. But this one is the Cordura version. It does also exist uh, in elite version in nylon, which is a bit lighter, but I prefer the Cordura version because it's a way tougher and heavy duty fabric. It comes in a tons of colors, Coyote Tan, OD Green, and you also have uh, camo colors, a very wide range, but I decided to keep it low profile with the black. So in this Cordura version, it weighs just a bit over one kilogram, which is pretty nice, pretty lightweight for an EDC backpack. It really doesn't feel heavy at all. And this is a 21 liter capacity bag. Okay, so for the outside of the bag here, we got on the front a large and nice Velcro panel to stick every kind of patches you want or you need, just like this one, or just an Eddy Context one. You have here a nice bungee elastic cord, so you can put your hoodie or your jackets if you, if you don't need it anymore, you can throw in there and then you can tight it. You still have some moldy webbing on the lower part of the bag and on the boss sides. And despite this, thank you guys for watching and see you next week. This is the SOG EVAC 18 liter sling pack. On the front of this pack here, we have a laser cut Hypalon Molly Field for attaching accessories, maybe a med kit. The main body construction of the pack is a 500D nylon with a polyurethane coating. Provides a little water resistance and good durability. The front of the pack here, we have a quick access storage pouch. Have a mesh pouch, which is good for energy bars or maybe your USB cables and power cables. Have some pocket for a notebook, flashlight, pens and pencils. Big loop zipper here you can use with a gloved hand or your fingers. On the top of the pack here, we have our impact resistant molded shell. This is a very nice feature with dual zippers. Opens up. On the inside of that, we have a flap with eyeglasses or a fragile item storage. So if you do end up dropping the pack or falling, it's not going to get damaged. Have some more storage pockets for pens, batteries, flashlights. On the main compartment here, full access. Opens up. You have some more storage compartments right here. On the top of the pack here, we have a, and this is the, SOG EVAC 18 liter sling pack.